Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize my clothes or my capsule wardrobe, if you will, into my iPad. So it's essentially a smart closet, if you will. And I love this because it makes choosing outfits very easy. It makes keeping my closet organized extremely easy. It also helps with things like packing or just planning ahead for doing laundry and um, things like that. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. So the first thing is that having an iPad for this is nice, but it's not necessary. You can also do this on an iPhone. And I use an app called Closet or Smart Closet and you can get it on the App Store. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So you should just go ahead and download this. I already have it, so I'm just going to open it up. Now, when you open up the app, you will first see your home. Um, if you click over to closets, then you'll see all of your items. I haven't updated this in a couple of weeks, so a couple of these items are no longer accurate, but I'm going to show you guys how I organize all of this and how I clean it up, essentially. The first thing to know is that it doesn't have to be extremely difficult to organize all of this. Some of you might look at this and go, oh my God, I'm going to have to spend hours putting all my clothes onto this app. So I'm going to show you guys how I I end up putting my uh, clothes on here so that you see that it's really not that much time it might take you maybe a day or so to do it but it'll last you years so it's very very worth it so the way I do it is I shop online a lot so for example if I buy an item then I tend to save the image of that item that I'm buying either on my computer or on my phone or something like that um, I also use Pinterest a lot, so for example, if I'm on my phone browsing, then I will save the image directly to my phone but if or my iPad, but if I am browsing on the computer, then I will use the plugin or the Chrome extension for Pinterest and I will pin, pin it all into a board and um, this way I can access it later. If you tend to shop in stores, that's not a problem. When you get home, just try to find the item on their web store. It's usually very easy to find, so it's not a huge problem. For example, I got a jacket a while ago from Zara. So for example, if I go to their website and I just search fall fur on here, then I will find it. That is one way that you can do it. You can add to your closet as you go. But if you're starting from scratch, chances are that a lot of the items that you're going to be adding to your closet are not going to be in store anymore. Um, for this, my suggestion is very simple. You can try to take pictures of your clothes and just remove the background on the app, but I find that to be very time consuming. So if you don't mind that the item is not exactly the same, what I do is I just go on Google Images and I just sort of search for the image itself so for example let's say it's a black cardigan or a black sweater or let's say that it's blue jeans then i'll just type that on google images and i'll find the one that's most similar to my clothing item and i will choose one with a white background so that it's easy to remove and then i'll add it to my closet it won't be the exact same piece but in the end it just has to represent that piece so what I will do next then is I will import this new image to my closet app. So I will go onto the closet app, I will click closet and I will put add item. Here I just have to select choose from album and then I just have to press on the image. Then the option to erase the background will show up. You can adjust the strength of this by moving that little black dot there. Um, and then just sort of tapping on the area that you want the background to disappear from. You can use the erase tool to delete it manually if you want, or if the smart erase one doesn't reach everything that you want. But overall, the smart one seems to be enough, at least for me. As soon as you add an item, you also have the chance to add some additional information. I don't fill all of this in because it's very time consuming, but I do fill in color and I do fill in season. The reason I fill in season is because you can change the season in the settings of your closet app so that you don't have, for example, shorts mixed with jeans um, in plain winter. So that's very convenient that it'll hide the summer pieces and keep everything um, away from each other. It also helps you create capsule wardrobes for each season so that you know what to put away and what to unpack as you go. So I also, it also separates the category of what it is. So jeans, outerwear, pants, sweaters, that type of stuff. That's just for convenience purposes. It's just nice to know what type of clothing item um, you are looking at. So that's how that works. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is just sort of clean up my closet and add some pieces that I'm missing. So I'm going to be deleting some things that I no longer use and I'm going to be adding some new pieces that I've bought in the meanwhile to my current closet. All right, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating looks for your lookbook. It's good to know that if you're on an iPad, you're not going to be able to create a look if you have your screen turned horizontally. So the first thing you're going to have to do is turn your screen up vertically and close the app if you had it open before and then reopen it. And then when you open lookbook, you will be able to add look, create a collage look and add items from the list down here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just create some lookbooks for you guys um, to see how the process looks like. And then we will go ahead and choose what season they belong to so that they're in the right display. Last but not least, the last thing I want to show you guys is sort of how you can use this app to plan your outfits and especially to plan outfits for traveling. I don't really use this to plan my outfits on a daily basis, but I do use this to plan outfits for when I go on travel. So if you click on calendar, then you'll be able to see an overview. And if you press on a certain day, then you can add a look. So if you go ahead and click uh, the look you want, then it'll be added to that day. This allows you to see what items you wore and how much you're repeating stuff or if there's any clothes that you're not really getting much use out of i might remind you to use those but yes the other cool setting is if you go back and you go under packing then you can create a trip here i already have chicago and portugal but i'm just going to go ahead and make one for new york so i'll type in new york and i'll select the dates that i'm going from the 1st of january to the 12th or from the 9th of january to the 12th of january and then I will select the looks I want to add to the strip. So I'll just press this plus button. I'll select the three looks that I created earlier. And here we go. The best part of this feature is that when you add a look, it adds the individual item to the items down here, which means that when you're packing, you only have to look at this list. And so long as you've packed everything on this item list, then you know you've packed to have all of the outfits that you want to have, which makes it super easy to not overpack. So I really use this feature for that kind of thing. I plan my outfits according to the weather um, and then I pack them according to the items that my app says that I need. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I hope that it was helpful, if it was, please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe. YouTube does this very fun thing where when people give me a like or comment, it shows other people through an algorithm my video and if you think that this would help other people, please go ahead and do that. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.